calcium and magnesium sulfates are present in water and they are responsible for what is known as permanent hardness of water. Water cannot be softened by boiling, being necessary the use of chemical additives or by passing it through an, an ion exchange resin that replaces the magnesium to plus and calcium to plus cations with sodium ions. That is due to the high solubility of, of compounds in water, what contrasts with the low solubility of the barium sulfides. Interestingly, this behavior is opposite to that found for the hydroxide compounds of the same elements where magnesium and calcium hydroxides are insoluble in water whilst barium hydroxide is soluble. The sulfides of magnesium, calcium and barium are well known especially for their important application in our daily life. Calcium sulfide is usually found in this hydrated form calcium sulfide bis IQO, which is commonly known as gypsum, which has important application in the production of Portland cement to make blackboard chalk as soil conditioner to loosen and aerate clay soils without raising the pH to prevent the loss of nitrogen in many pails by producing ammonium sulfide when reacts with nitrogen in baking industry as supplemental calcium in wall boards and so on. Gypsum is one of the most common sedimentary rocks in the earth's crust and it can be found in different forms which have the same composition but different texture. Mostly of the variety of gypsum are very soft mineral with a hardness of two in the most scale. A fine grained dense variety of gypsum is alabaster, which in appearance resembles marble and has been historically used for delicate sculptures. Occasionally, people confuse the natural mineral gypsum with the emidhydrite product that is usually employed as building material. This product, which is also known as plaster of Paris, is from well calcium sulfide dihydrate is heated about 180 celsius according to the following equilibrium. The particularity of plaster of Paris appears when mixed with water and consists on that the powdery material expands and forms long interlocking needles of the hydrate compounds and heat is released. The interlocking of the crystal form confers the plaster cast their strength and rigidity. This compound is widely used in casts for broken limbs. One interesting application of gypsum is as fire resistant wall board employing for interior walls in houses and offices. The advantage to use this material is both the price and its resistance in case of fire course. Gypsum has a low thermal conductivity and additionally considering that the reaction of dehydration of gypsum is endothermic, it can absorb heat from the surroundings. Additionally, each mole of liquid water produced absorbs the enthalpy of evaporation of water becoming in vapor water which provides an inert barrier decreasing the supply of oxygen to the fire. The other important sulfate discussed in this section is magnesium sulfate which is usually found as the heptahydrate form that is known as Epsom salt. This hydrated compound has been traditionally used as a component of bath salt and as saline laxative. For the use as laxative, Epsom salt is more potent than the milk of magnesium, a solution of magnesium hydroxide, because it absorbs faster and may cause severe diarrhea if overdose. Other uses in medicine include as analgesic soak agent for sprained ankles, insect baits, and braces. Magnesium sulfide has also important application in gardening and agriculture in order to correct a magnesium or sulfur deficient soil. The high solubility of this compound makes a better choice 
that other magnesium soil amendments. In addition, due to that anhydrous magnesium sulfide is highly hygroscopic, it has an important application in organic synthesis as desiccant. Finally, barium sulfide has an interesting use due to its low solubility in water and because it absorbs X-ray radiation, so it provides a radiopaque contrast medium very useful to visualize the digestive tract in persons. Barium sulfide is administrated to the patient as a barium cocktail and the gastrointestinal tract of the patient is coated with the compound and appear white on x-ray. Although the cation barium 2 plus is very toxic, its low solubility allows to administrate it safely. Additionally, sodium sulfide is added to the suspension which warranties due to the high solubility of the sodium salt in water an elevated concentration of sulfide ions in solution and therefore restricting the dissolution of barium sulfide considering the Chatelier's principle.